Commercial space travel is one step closer to reality with today's successful test flight from Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. It is the first time a manned vehicle built for commercial passengers has reached space. CBS News correspondent Tom Hansen has the details. An aircraft carrying the Virgin Spaceship 2 took off from California's Mojave Desert Thursday morning on its way to the edge of space. At 45,000 feet, the aircraft released the Spaceship 2, which rocketed more than 51 miles above the Earth. Rolling to the right. On board, two test pilots and a mannequin representing a future passenger. It landed safely minutes later. Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson spoke with CBSN following the launch. I'm really hopeful that a lot of people watching your program uh, one day will be able to go to space. Um, and that's our aim, is to try to make it safe and affordable for as many people as possible. Branson is competing with fellow billionaires Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk in the race to get tourists to space. More than 600 people have signed up to fly Virgin Galactic. The rides are priced around $250,000. Branson says he wants to be one of the first to go. I'm itching to go. My guess is within six months, and, and I think I can pretty confidently say that today. Thursday's successful launch comes four years after an earlier craft crashed during a test flight, killing one pilot and injuring the other. The pilots of this flight, including former NASA astronaut Frederick Sturko, will be awarded commercial astronaut wings from the FAA. Tom Hansen, CBS News. Yeah. And as it's huh? You can forecast the, the travel forecast for going. <laughs> oh, to yeah. Outer space. Oh, my. Can you imagine? That's yeah, we're something. good here. Yeah.